2012 is a year that I'm president, and in that year we were told, forget anything to do with Congress. Anything on the Hill, don't worry about it. You're not going to get anything done. It's a very partisan group of folks, you know, the Republicans want this and the Democrats want that, and they are not negotiating or compromising on anything. You'll never get any legislation passed at all during this year. Well, three really important aspects of our push this year have been the GSEs, like Fannie and Freddie, to maintain and secure long-term uh, secondary marketplace for the real estate community so that we can benefit through the establishment and the existence of a long-term mortgage, like a 30-year fixed interest rate over that period of time. If we didn't have the GSEs, if we didn't have a secondary market space, we'd have private investors, like me, for instance, who would say, yeah, but I'm not going to give you a 30-year mortgage, and I'm not, certainly not going to do it at 4%. I need a lot better investment uh, return than that, and I need a shorter period because I don't know what's going on. So when the government does that, it allows first-time home buyers and even second-time home buyers to, to come into the marketplace. So that's a strong commitment to a really solid real estate community, and that's one of the things we espouse and we, and we, uh, and we go on the Hill and make sure that they understand and know it. And the second thing was we wanted to make doggone sure that we saved the mortgage interest deduction, which has been around for an awful long period of time. And that simply says you pay a mortgage, you pay interest on that mortgage, you pay some taxes on the mortgage, you get to deduct that from your income tax on your first and your second home. And a lot of people say, well, maybe on the first home's okay, but the second home, my golly, you know, only rich guys have second homes, only rich people, and that's not the case. The majority of second homes in America literally are fishing camps and hunting cabins and small places where people have committed to getting away and having a pretty decent time. About 60% of the people that are invested in second homes uh, are invested at uh, less than 200000 So uh, the reality is that both first and second home mortgage interest deductions are enormously important. The average American homeowner saves about $3,500 a year on his mortgage interest deduction per year. And that's a pretty healthy return on your investment in that real estate. And you can put it toward the equity of the house. You can go out and put it back into the community in an economic way. You can save it. You can do what you want. But it's one of the things that real estate has been able to accomplish. The third thing that we really fought for, and especially over the last several years, has been a flood insurance program. Ever since the catastrophe, literally, in Louisiana, there has been real concern about flood insurance and the cost of flood insurance. And we've been working very diligently for that period of time with the federal government to make sure that flood insurance was re, uh, 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 just re-upped so that it would be available, and especially not just in coastal states, but especially in those areas that were prone to 100-year floodplains. And that was places like Kentucky and Minot, North Dakota, and Wyoming, places where you wouldn't think you'd have flooding problems, not just Florida and Texas and the Carolinas. Just recently, when no one said it could be done, the National Association of Realtors, a million members strong, their members rose up again, and they made it happen. We have gotten now a national flood insurance program and that has been extended for a full five-year period, and that happened just a few weeks ago in a, an atmosphere that most of the pundits would have told you you couldn't have passed anything on the Hill, and we did.